Here's a brief history and overview of the unique strike inputs in the Make Noise system. After the release of the Make Noise quad multimode gate, it became apparent that it needed a patch pal. As the QMMG had no CV summing, attenuation, or inversion per channel, we put all that functionality into a module called Maths with the idea that it would be installed either above or beside the QMMG, allowing for great variety in amplitude and spectral control. Some time passed and we came to realize that by far the most popular way to patch these modules was a gate to maths trigger in, setting rise to full counterclockwise for the fastest rise time, and fall to around noon, thus creating a very short envelope that when patched to the control in on the QMMG resulted in turning on the Vactral gate briefly. The exponential response of maths was specially designed for this purpose. When the Vactral gate turned off, it did so slowly, imparting a gorgeous natural decay to the sound. This classic technique was used by electronic music pioneers such as Morton Subotnik and Suzanne Chani in their early work using the Buchla 200 instrument. With the Optimix, we thought it would be fantastic to achieve the classic Buchla bongo without having to patch the maths, so we developed a strike functionality. It makes it possible to use just about any gate, pulse, or clock to perfectly open and close the Vactral gate, thus creating that gorgeous natural decay of the sound. In the same gate in the control input, you could hear that the gate width had a great effect on the resulting sound, whereas the strike input will work nearly the same regardless of the type of signal put into it. The strike input sounds different from module to module and even channel to channel because each Vactral is unique, so some Optomixes ring longer and others ring shorter. Strike works very nicely as a way to add some percussive emphasis to more uh, subtle or gradual modulation of the control input. The next module to receive a strike input was the dual prismatic oscillator. Here the strike is on the wave folder on the final output, which also utilizes a Vactral for that natural sounding decay. When the wave folder is turned all the way down, the gain is low enough to be effectively zero. Striking it cranks up the folder briefly, creating a highly aggressive percussive sound. The settings of shape and angle have a great effect on the timbre of the resulting sound as well. The wave folder tends to have a shorter decay than the Optimix control Vactral, so this input is also suitable for audio rate modulation. And just like on the Optimix, it can add some nice accents when paired with less aggressive modulation. The multimode gate also has a strike input, as well as a variant called Accent. When the filter is closed in low-pass mode, the strike input has a similar effect to that of the Optimix, briefly turning the cutoff all the way up. It tends to be a bit quicker though, and the MMG has a noticeably steeper filter slope, so the sound is different. The Accent input is like an overdriven strike for the cutoff frequency and gain all at once. Using both these inputs, along with other modulation, makes the MMG much more rhythmically versatile than the average multimode filter. The strike input is one of the proudest features of the Make Noise system, serving as a simple and effective way to add pleasing percussive animation to almost any patch. It will surely be included on future modules as well, so stay tuned. Check out makenoisemusic.com for more information.